Reid spoke with Majin Kelly about her accusation that Biden sexually assaulted her in 1993 when Reid was a Senate staffer to the former vice president. Tara Reid, Joe Biden's former Senate staffer who has accused the former vice president of sexually assaulting her in 1993, gave her first on-air interview on Thursday and called on him to drop out of the 2020 presidential race. You and I were there, Joe Biden, Reid said in a clip released by former Fox News host Meejan Kelly, who conducted the interview. Please, step forward and be held accountable. You should not be running on character for the President of the United States. Reid said she wishes Biden would step down as the presumptive Democratic nominee for president, although she doesn't believe that will actually happen. She said she's received death threats because people believe she's a Russian agent. There is a measure of hypocrisy with the campaign saying it's been safe, Reid said, referring to the Biden campaign's comment that all women should be able to tell their stories without fear of retaliation. It's not been safe. All of my social media has been hacked. All my personal information has been dragged through the mud. Reid said she would absolutely go under oath and subject herself to cross-examination. When Kelly asked if Reid would be open to taking a polygraph test, she said she would only if Biden does as well. What kind of precedent does that set for survivors of violence? Does the mean we're presumed guilty, and we all have to take polygraphs? Reid said. I will take once if Joe Biden takes one. In March, Reid accused Biden of kissing her and penetrating her with his fingers without her consent when she worked for him in the Senate. Biden denied the allegation in an interview on Morning Joe last week, telling anchor Mika Brzezinski, It is not true. I'm saying unequivocally it never, never happened. The Biden campaign had also previously denied the accusation. The former vice president also released a written statement in which he requested that the National Archives release any records from the Office of Fair Employment Practices that relate to Reid's claim. The Senate responded to Biden's request earlier this week, saying they do not have the legal authority to release records related to a potential Reid allegation. Reid was one of at least eight women last year to publicly accuse Biden of inappropriate touching, although none of the others have accused him of sexual assault. Reid said in 2019 that she worked in Biden's Senate office when she was in her mid-twenties and that he would make her uncomfortable by running his fingers up her neck or putting his hand on her shoulder. At the time, Reid told reporters her story was about abuse of power, not sexual misconduct, and did not mention the alleged incident about him kissing and groping her. Since Reid shared the sexual assault allegation in March, more corroborating information has come to light. An investigative report from Business Insider spoke to Reid's former neighbor, who said that Reid confided in her about the alleged assault in 1995 or 1996. Additionally, a former co-worker from a different job, as well as Reed's brother, have said they remember Reed telling them about the alleged assault. A video also surfaced last month of a woman whom Reed identified as her mother calling into a live broadcast of Larry King live on CNN in 1993 and asking King what she should do if her daughter had a problem with a prominent senator. The call does not mention sexual assault or harassment. A New York Times investigation published in mid-April could not corroborate Reid's allegation with Biden staffers at the time and found no pattern of sexual misconduct. The Times has since released a statement clarifying that their investigation drew no conclusion either way on the validity of Reid's story. The allegation against Biden has put many sexual assault survivors in a tough spot since the two current candidates for president have both been accused of sexual violence. Biden has one accusation of sexual assault against him, reads, while Donald Trump has upwards of 60 accusations of sexual misconduct against him, including multiple allegations of rape. Trump has denied these allegations. Many assault survivors told HuffPost that a Biden administration would be better for women and other marginalized groups than another four years of Trump, but some are still struggling with whether they will vote for Biden or not at all come November.